children how are you all well i am super excited because today from your book joyful mathematics we are going to be talking about chapter 8 which is called grouping and sharing we all know that of all the things that are around us we can always make groups and we can always share them with our friends are you excited as i am so let us get started well the first thing first i have two of my friends who are seeing this picture and they're observing something outside their window hmm i see they are looking at the road before we get to know what they are discussing do you know what are the traffic rules that we should follow no yes okay some of you know and some of you don't know well let's try and see which are the very important rules that you must follow when you are out on a road so when you go out you will always observe that there is a traffic light that has red yellow and green color so you should always walk when it is green for the pedestrians yes the people who can cross the road and where to cross the road from always use the zebra crossing also whenever you are walking near the road use the pavement never use the road because the road is for the vehicles and the footpath is for us so always use footpath while walking now let us see what my two friends are discussing they seem to have a very interesting discussion going on let's find out hmm so they are observing the traffic outside they are counting the wheels and they can see there are i think seven cars that's what they counted right there are bicycles also and there are rickshaws also can you count for me how many bicycles are there that is right there are four bicycles each bicycle has two wheels isn't it so total wheels is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 which is equal to 8 that's right very good we are adding 2 four times you know what an interesting thing to know times can be written as multiply which looks like a cross to us that's right so 4 multiplied by 2 is equal to 8 good or we can also say 4 into 2 is equal to 8 hmm i know this is easy you find it very easy let us do this for auto rickshaws number of auto rickshaws that we can see in this picture are 2 correct and each auto rickshaw has three wheels very good so total wheels is equal to 3 plus 3 which is equal to 6 excellent or 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6 very good now let us do it for cars number of cars is equal to i will not tell you this time count it yourself So number of wheels in each car is equal to count the wheel in one of the cars good so total wheels is equal to so now tell me how many fours are you adding so we can write it as 7 fours are 28 very good everybody you did excellently so now applaud yourself good Shall we move on to the next one now? Are you ready? Tell me, have you ever seen the butterflies around you? I am sure you have. Aren't they very colorful and pretty? Have you ever counted their wings? How many wings are there with one butterfly? Do you know? Of course. <laughs> so you have to tell me in the image that you can see on your screens. the number of butterflies is equal to what number of wings in each butterfly is equal to what quickly count the wings total number of wings is equal to 
dash or we can say three twos are dash. So, dash multiplied by dash is equal to what? Excellent! You did it wonderfully. Good job. Now, let us talk about this beautiful creature which is also very interesting to look at. Do you know what do we call it? Hmm, we call it the octopus. Yes. So, the number of octopuses that you can see in the picture are, I can see one and two, isn't it? Now, number of legs in each octopus is, let us count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Hmm, see, we just have two legs. But they have eight legs. Isn't it interesting? So, number of legs in each octopus is equal to eight. So, total number of legs that we can see on the screen is equal to eight plus eight, which is equal to sixteen. So, two groups of eight is sixteen. So, we can easily write that two multiplied by 8 is equal to 16. Now, let's move on. Hmm, this is a very beautiful picture. I can see so many soldiers standing perfectly in lines. Can you also see them? Well, soldiers are very important for our country because they protect our country. They're everywhere, always ready to help us. So, you should also Respect whenever you see a soldier. Now, let us do some grouping, right? So, the number of lines that you can see are, now count, number of soldiers in each line, which is equal to, hmm, that's correct. So, total number of soldiers is equal to dash. Now, let us see that what we can say it. We can say that four tens are forty. Very good. You did it wonderfully. I hope you all enjoyed grouping and sharing. You did wonderfully with the tables. Now, keep exploring. Bye everybody. Take care and keep smiling.